Hi everyone, today I'm making scones. No, rock cakes. Well, that's the butter got uh, ready for me to make my rock cakes. Now, what else do I need? self raising flour and caster sugar. Now, well, that's my caster sugar. A lot of it's emptied out onto the shelf, but we'll see if we've got enough there. And self raising flour. Ah. Hmm. Haven't made cakes for quite some time. Expiry date. Hmm. November 2015. That'll have to um, be put in the bin. So have I got, yes. Got some more, that's better. So what else do I need? Um, some milk as well. Get that from the fridge. Oh, oh. that's better. So I think that's everything. Dried fruit, yeah, got that, got that. All right, let's just get the bowls. Because I need two. Actually, that one can go there, that one can go there. And then lastly, oh, hello. Wow, how are you? <laughs> you all right? Yeah? You're okay, aren't you? Yes. All right then. You want to get up on there? Okay. Come on then. No? Okay. You usually like getting up on top of the stools. Nearly. <laughs> right, rock cakes. Haven't made done, as I said, cooking for a long time. And rock cakes, these are good girl. Um, was something that I used to make when I was in school. It was one of the recipes that you did in, what was it, home economics? So something nice and easy, get your hands dirty, but uh, make something and take home for your mum, um, your mum and dad or, and the rest of the family so they can taste your, uh, taste your cooking culinary skills. That was a bit of a mouthful. Anyway, let's start sorting this out. So I need the two bowls. So let's mix in. Whoa, already getting dirty. Oh, there we go. So I need uh, that and some milk. So yes, so while inside at the, t at the moment, let's pour what could I do just to do something so that I could have some have, have something to eat once I've cooked it? So it was um, remembering my school school years and thinking, oh yeah, the rock cakes would be fun to do. So two teaspoons of this, but also what also triggered this was I had a. A story told to me which was I thought was rather funny and it was by my other half and he thought he'd do some baking and his baking was uh, he thought he'd make some cakes which absolutely fine so like me got all the ingredients for the rock cakes Mixed it all up and then popped it in the oven. I think that's whisk enough. I think so. And uh, looked at the. Um, actually, let's just take that over there. Yeah. That's right. Um. <laughs> So yeah, put them in the oven and watched them. Well, he thought he was expecting them to rise up. He took the, the uh, cake.
Oops. There we go. I'm going to carry on here. <laughs> uh, I'll just pick the stool up though. Ooh. And I'll sort that out later because I've got my hands all sorted, ready for this. Now, um, what was I doing? <laughs> um, right, let's carry on. Where were we? I was in the middle of a story. <laughs> it's kind of broken every, all my thought, trained of thought. Uh, where were we? Yes. He was baking some rock cakes. So yes, he'd put them in the oven and he was uh, sorting that out. And he then uh, got the rock cakes out of the oven. And uh, <laughs> he thought, they don't look exactly what he was expecting them to look like. They were all rugged and I was thinking that I, he was expecting them to be really smooth and just dome like but they were all uh, all rough and uh, then he, he once they'd cooled down um, he actually tried them and thought they were a bit dry and then he thought these aren't scones what why aren't they not scones they don't look exactly what he was expecting them to look like and uh, no they're not rock cakes They weren't rock cakes. They were scones he'd made. He'd followed the recipe for scones. Thank you. <laughs> do you know how many takes we've had to do and you still can't get it right? <sighs> right then. Let's carry on with this. <laughs> what are we making, Claire? Rock cakes. Thank you. My, my makeup's gonna run, and that's not gonna be any good. Because <gasps> oh, I've got an eye condition at, at the moment, or a start of one, I'm not sure. I've got red eye. So, oh, oh dear me, right. Where was I? I've done one side of things. You were making scones. No, I wasn't. I'm, I'm making rock cakes. Rock cakes is what I'm making, right. <clears throat> Self-raising flour, that's what I need. And I need, let's pop that bowl on top. Press my button so it goes to zero. And I need eight ounces or 225 grams. Oh, I've got the snotty nose now. Well, not snotty, runny. Once I've weighed this, then I'll just give it a quick blow. 200. There we are. Put that out the way. Right, I've done that. That's the easy part. Cast sugar, 75 grams. Press zero. Come on. Oh, runny nose. I will run. I will. Oh. Run out of sugar. Hold on. Oh. I bet the sugar that I've got in there, which is on the shelf, it's only a little bit of a mound. It's probably going to be enough to create the final little bit that I need on there, but anyway. <sighs> Here we are. That's that. Now, 
sorry, concentration on this is a bit much. I need to get it right and then I'll be happy. I need a teaspoon of this and then I'll tell you some, some bits and pieces that um, have, have happened over the last uh, few weeks. Uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. And then unsalted butter. Now this is where I... 125 grams. Yes, over the last few weeks, of course, we've had our festive period and I've had some rather nice gifts sent to me. And uh, now... Oh no, zero again. Oh, I'm going to be using quite a bit of this, I think. Um, yeah, quite a few nice gifts sent through to me from fans who have seen me on the web from YouTube, they enjoyed what I've been wearing, and they wanted to add to my collection, which has been rather nice. So, of course. My lovely red shoes, which you saw in last week's video. Um, they're a very nice, kind gentleman who sent me these, along with the pink ones and the black ones, which were last year. He wanted to send me, well, he sent me something else, which was rather nice. And he did send it and tell me that it was a Christmas present. So I left it till Christmas day to open it. And it was very nice, rather surprising, something that I wouldn't have expected at all. Uh, but I do know he likes leather. And it was a Matrix style leather coat. But it's not real leather, fake leather. And it, it's full length. Um, it's a maroony brownie colour. And it's full length. Very different. And I, uh, I'm going to hope to be able to wear it for you in a in a shoot. But I've had to when I got it out of the package. Of course, it arrived about two weeks before Christmas, and I, of course I said I'd leave it till Christmas Day to open it. So it was in its packaging much longer than expected, and it was very creased. So it's been hanging up on the back of a wardrobe, um, back of a wardrobe door actually to actually um, hopefully so soften all the creases out. Because otherwise I don't know how to do it. Um, not sure how to get rid of creases otherwise. So yeah, it was... So that's something that I will... Uh, I think I might have a look at it when um, while this is all cooking. Um, I think I might actually have a look at it and see what it's like, and then I uh, might be able to show you show you the coat later on in this video, which will be lovely. Um, but also, I what else did I have? Had um, some bodies sent sent through to me, which was um, very very nice. Uh, uh, that was from one of my Scottish gentlemen. Mixture of um, styles of bodies because of the um, materials that were used. So I've got to knead this now to a crumbly um, texture. So, Mr. Cameraman, if you'd like to zoom in. But yeah, it was. Um, oh gosh, it's quite hard butter. They were they're were very nice. They they all fit. And uh, as I said, different types of material. So they, um, some of it are quite tight and stretchy. You getting this? Maybe? Oh, if I lift it up like that. But all I can... <laughs> My hands. <laughs> Covered. Oh, this may take, take longer than I, I thought actually. I thought the butter was hard, uh, was softer than it was. Anyway, so yeah, um, 
so yeah, I've got the bodies, which was lovely. Oh, I didn't blow my nose today. <laughs> no. Hold on, excuse me. That'll have to do. It's always better to use a tissue or a hanky. But, mm, anyway. Um, so yes, bodies and then a couple of pair of knickers. Very saucy. Um, and then, uh, and then this morning, I actually got um, a couple of pairs of stockings through the post. Uh, they haven't been able to put them on yet or try them, but uh, they are black seamed, Cuban heeled. And that was from another long time admirer. Um, just trying to think. How long have I known that gentleman? Quite a few years. So I hope to be able to try those on and see what they're like soon. Now, oh. Well, this is gonna take a long time. So let me speed up the video. Okay, I think that's done. Let me show camera. It's nice and crumb, breadcrumb size like thing. So that's that done. So I now need my dried fruit. I've got to mix that in. A pair of scissors. I don't know, I'm seeing flour on my nose and I don't know if I've got it on there or not. How much dried fruit is? Mm. Smells really nice, dried fruit. That reminds me a lot of the, my, when I was young, being in the kitchen baking. Right, so I mix that in with that, then the egg, and then I have to mix in egg. That's why I mixed it all earlier. Otherwise doing that with grubby hands is horrible. So. with a spoon. I know what. I need to ask Mr. Cameraman if he'll just um, move out of the way a moment. Need my wooden spoon. Most important. Right. Mixture. Stir mixture together make a lumpy dough. After all of that, I make it nice and smooth and then they want a lumpy dough. <sighs> now while I'm mixing this, now going back to the anecdote of the other half and making scones when he wanted rock cakes, or he thought he was doing rock cakes. <sighs> when it comes to scones, I always say scones, I don't say scone. Scone is the wrong word because Scone is not spelt right. Scone is spelt with an E at the end. Because if you don't have the E at the end, no, if you don't have the S at the beginning, <laughs> then you have a cone. So 
So it's got to be, the way to say scone is scone, not scone. And also... Oh, that you oh no. You've just contradicted yourself. <laughs> I have. <sighs> scone, not scone. That's all I'm going to say. Traffic cone. That's it, traffic cone. It's not a traffic con. Oh. Take the S away. Right then. That, I think, is done. Into a lumpy dough. It's very sticky. So, last thing I need to do is golf ball size onto baking trays. Baking trays I have. Ah, baking parchment. Oh, do that now. Oh. Sorry for the noise. If I need to do it with a spoon or just do it with my hands. I I'll just do it with my hands. And hopefully I'll make the rock cakes alright. Too big, too small? I don't know. Golf golf ball size. I don't play golf. I'm getting very messy. <laughs> no, still getting messy. There we are. <laughs> no, what I haven't done. I haven't put the oven on. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> three, six, nine. Tw oh, I've made ugh, these. Got to be bigger. Okay. Readjust. If I put two together, then that will make those. <laughs> As you can tell, I am really not the maker. <laughs> Actually, put those together. Put those like that. Stuff left, oh, mixture left over. All right. So that will make another two, one. Or do I just mix it in with? All right. I'm going to add these to the ones I've already got. 
Now I've only actually met two, four, six, eight. <laughs> My adding's not very well. Oh, I give up with this. Right, I've done eight. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Right, let's just put these in the oven. And we will see them at the end. Let's see how they are. Oh. <sighs> 15, 20 minutes. I'll clean up. See you soon. Adam, new bowl for you. No? No? <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's pop this away. And then I believe... Ooh. May scones. Rock cakes. Whoa! Yes! I'm not angry with you for cutting or well, breaking a bowl. Honest. Um, Hopefully then my rock cakes will be ready. Let's just put that over here. Got quite a bit of flour and stuff all over me. I am not the tidiest of people, but... Okay. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. They look good. Now, what I need to do is just lean. That's dirty. These need to cool down now. Mmm. They smell all right. So, let me see. Don't want to burn myself. Okay. Mm. Not bad. You want to try some? Okay. Oh, uh, uh, there we are. It's hot. Be careful. No. Oh, that's rather nice. Um, well, I think I need a cup of tea to go with some of these once they're cooled down. Um, I will look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>